What's up? Rage Raven 5678 here. Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes. Alright, so we might be at the end of the game here. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, but last episode, uh, we basically spent the entire episode with Watson. What's just a nice change of pace? And uh, we discovered the location or where this ritual could be, where they're con gonna try to summon Cthulhu. Um, and we're gonna go stop them. Again, for like, what, the third time or something like that? Because we stopped him the first time uh, in Call of Cthulhu. And the second time in the Second City, which I'm still not quite sure. I can't quite remember if it was Dagon or Cthulhu. But, hey, they're both evil pagan gods. So, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's stop them anyways, right? And now here we are. That bitch should be like, Oh, I finally gonna get my revi- Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, it's that motherfucker he took me in the ground last time. And be like, yeah, bro. Later, and then he's just gonna go back to sleep in the middle of the ocean until another cult decides to resurrect him. Well, speaking of which, did you guys know that there's a a Lovecraftian Winnie the Pooh game coming out? <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm being dead serious too, and I'm gonna play it. I'm being dead serious. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. Yeah, apparently you're Winnie the Pooh. Looking for Robert or wherever the fuck that kid name is and uh, yeah, and it's the first person adventure game Sounds crazy. Yeah, it does Am I gonna play it? Hell yeah, the awakening. Alrighty I'm not gonna try to pronounce that name again because I know I messed it up yesterday <gasps> Oh, that looks so cool Oh, that looked so cool. Holmes, if we don't find <coughs> soon, I feel we will join those missing souls. Crap. These seas have taken too many, John. Let's stop them from taking more then. Can you imagine like people coming into your bedroom and doing ritual just wake you up and in the morning and be like, what the fuck are you guys doing here now? And they're like, time to go to church. It's like, no, it's Sunday. The day of rest. Yes. And you still gotta go to Cthulhu Church. So, alright. Top hat. How to wear for. Okay, yeah, I really don't wanna wear this, so. You know what? We'll go with the Deerstalker hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with the OG Sherlock Holmes outfit. Fuck yeah, dude. Or should we go as, uh. <gasps> should we go as, uh, Charles's outfit, too? Oh, man, you know, kinda be like a flashback. I don't know. Does this outfit really fit with this? I don't know. So. That looks kind of cool. A lot of the outfits can actually kind of fit with the hat. So. Yeah. Well, anyways, yeah. Now, let's go with the Charles outfit. You know, to represent my boy Charles for sacrificing his life to bring a cycle. To let a cycle go. So, let's do it. And then, what's my boy Watson wearing, too? Okay, he got his hat on, too. Alright, let's get going. Yeah, all he's making, missing is the backpack. So, by the way, thank you, Dev. Thank you, Frogware, so much for not having combat in this in the Sherlock Holmes games. Because, yeah, that last one, chapter one, pretty bad. Black featureless face, manually broken, Egyptian motives. Yep. You're definitely in the right place, John. The door won't budge. Alright, there's got to be another way around somewhere. Nah, I don't think that's gonna open up for us. Alright, let's see what's down here first. <coughs> oh, I think we just went the right way by accident. Fine with me. The hell? Old cannon probably rusting here since the 16th century. Wheel. Cult pattern, groove, indention. 
Ouroboros, a snake eating itself. An ancient symbol of eternal renewal. Fresh marks, something scraped along the stone. This door requires a very specific key. Cool. <clears throat> Alright, so now I'm just gonna look for it. Where did the shirt come from? Holmes, look, there's a body here. Not just any body, it's Ashman. The body is still soft on the touch. He died recently. Oh, his eyes are gouged out. Wonderful. <clears throat> Scratches, bruises, and stabs, all self inflicted. The infamous curved dagger. It's tied firmly to his hand. My boy's missing his shoe. A broken chain. Something was attached to the end. But he succumbed to all those wounds. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna miss you, ass Matt, since you almost well, you pretty much drove a man insane. Last blood, small pool, no artificial wound. Okay. It's pretty fresh too. So most likely came from uh, Ash Matt himself. Ring and groove, disturb something, searching for something. This branch was recently broken. The wood is still green. A human-sized imprint. Someone fell on their back. Whatever Ashmat had secured to his chain, he lost it here. All right. So there's something we gotta pin down. There we go. All right. <clears throat> There it is. Scratches. This medallion saw frequent use. It also looks like the same symbol that we saw in that uh door uh, right next to the cannon. Interesting occult pattern. What drove him to this dreadful act? I fear we are about to see for ourselves. Let's do it. For Charles. For that other guy that I keep forgetting the name of from Call of Cthulhu, because he was kind of cool. Drain sigils, drawn in blood, partially washed away. You know what? I just kind of realized, too. If... If Sherlock and Watson do survive this, which I'm intending that they will. But let's just say that if they do, um, then they will be the only ones in the Lovecraftian games that we've played so far that hasn't been either dead or broken, you know? If you remember, Charles sacrificed his life to keep a cycle going, uh, just so it doesn't kill the entire uh, town of Innsmouth, I think it was called. Um, just so, yeah. Uh, and then the detective guy back in Call of Cthulhu, like back in the day, I, I can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, but like even though he stopped Cthulhu from being reawakening, uh, he, he was left just mentally broken, you know? Like he was, he's cray cray. So, now, I guess it's Sherlock's turn. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. This has a big giant evil god. So, so my theory is, like, why is Cthulhu, like, if he's gonna destroy the earth or something like that, why the hell is he even here? Well, it's because, I th uh, I'm pretty sure he just fell from space, and he landed in the ocean, and now he's sleeping there. And, uh, and until one day a cult resurrects him, um... To destroy the earth or make our earth renew i don't know why did why is there a cult that wants the evil pagan god to destroy the earth no one will understand but there's always the world is big enough and has so many people to make crazy people do shit you know <coughs> that's a crafty mechanism and quite ancient glad we got another puzzle on our hand 
Oh, an obsidian wonderful. Heart. Masterful work. Yeah, it did a great job crafting it, too. Oh. Interesting. So they look like slaves. Something in the caves drove Ashmat mad, and it might still be there, so let us proceed with caution. This vessel is covered in dried blood. Oh, I get it. We need fresh blood. And no, I'm not volunteering. Fear not. I think Ashmat can help. Yeah, um, I wasn't going to ask you, John, to stab your eyeballs out. God damn. You stab your own eyes, pour it in a bowl, and fucking use the lever? That's hardcore, man. Sealed shut and seemingly for a long time. <coughs> used fresh blood in some kind of ritual. Okay. I think this is a pattern that we're gonna have to follow. Let's look over there before we go back and get ass mat. Oh! Hey, look! Is, uh, oh my god, this is the Dagon story. So, if you guys remembered, uh, in Sinking City, uh, basically the fishmen who I can't remember what they're called, but I think I think we call them the deep ones. Um, they basically, they do, uh, impregnate, uh, women, um, either right, either willfully or unwillfully, but anyways, and then it would make, uh, the fish humans. If you guys remember the sinking city, we had the fish people, um, I can't remember what they called, uh, insmouthers, that's what they were called, they were called insmouthers. Um, so yeah, that, that's a, that's a thing. So, hey man. Crazy shit happens in Lovecraft stories, man. So, <laughs> oh, well, that's new. All right. And then all these guys will be peeping through the corner. All right. All right. I guess first things first is to uh, pour some blood in. All right. Oh, Ash, Matt, we need your quartz. Do you have anything to hold blood, Watson? Fine, take my first. All right. All right, so according to the Brighton's on the wall. We need to pour the blood in first. Hand. Uh, the lever is up. Okay. So let's make sure the lever is up first. Wait. Oh, okay. It goes up and down. Okay, that's fine. All right, so we pour this in. And then press it. The lever doesn't want to stay on its own. Hmm. Maybe Watson can uh hold it down. My revolver is loaded. Just in case. Watson, hold the lever for me. I must investigate. Okay, I just had to tell him to do it. Okay, so he holds it down. And then let's see. Okay, so the gate open, and then we got to turn a crank. All right, so let's go turn a crank. And and out to let it all out. All right. What do we got here? We got another lever here. I don't see a crank. I didn't see a crank anywhere. Holmes, watch out! My lever went back up. The doors, Watson. Hold the doors. We're trapped! Now what? Look around. There must be something we can use. There's this crank here. That wasn't here before. Okay. So 
Shoulder, lever, arm scythe, locking mechanism. Those holes seem to have a purpose, but I won't risk my arm to find out what. Nope. We got volunteers, so uh, let's go ahead and use them. Alright. Alright, we need more arms. Boom. Got another arm here. Boom. It's like a peephole. Just, except, <laughs> you're, not, you know, you're not sticking the you know what in the peephole. Oh, wait, there's multiple uh, places to put the thing. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh wait a minute, do I need mul do I need okay, I need multiple things to put into multiple holes. That's what she says, but uh anyways. Or he says. I don't know. Uh oh wait, was there another thing here? No. No, there was not. Okay, I see where the last two stuff is, so we'll go ahead and put that there. Grab this. Put it there. And then one more thing around here. There it is. And boom. There we go. Okay, so they had their hands in there, and then... Anything, Don't know what's going on there. But, uh, let's see. Hmm. It's all right, Watson. <coughs> it's merely a chest with coins and a dagger, made of obsidian by the looks of it. Okay. All right, so the Cthulhu man then does something. What's this? Where's that coming from? Hmm. Let's check over here. Can I switch characters or something? Oh. Wow, I can. Okay. Alright. Uh, so we turn the crank. And then we got the four holes, and then, uh, okay, so it looks like we're going to have to deal with this thing next. So we need to balance out this table here. Um, see, okay, so there's a heart, and then there's, oh, there's a coin here. Okay, so we got to put the coin here. It's ancient, though still working. A rather accurate depiction of the human heart. Alright, so I got the ancient coin. But it's not letting me put the thing in there. Hmm. Do we need more coins or something? Or do I need to do something to that middle piece, maybe? Use these with care. Oh, I have Let to grab them. Be the first Lady. adventurers to raid a tomb without destroying it. All right. Is that a Tomb Raider joke, by the way, that he just made? Okay, so got that, and then we got to pull this lever again. Terrific. Now onward before they close again. Let us hope our paths converge, Holmes. All right, I think we're our boy. I think we're the boy Watson. Let's do this. <clears throat> Holmes, say something. I can't. I can't hold on. Holmes, say something. Everything. Everything is so. Uh -huh. Yeah. This is definitely like a Lovecraftian, 
burn of a game like it starts off a bit slow and then it kind of just rises 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 and now we're at the that climax where all the shit goes down and it's like and we still don't really know half of what's going on okay that's coming from over here so yeah, this is definitely going up there. It's my favorite game to release so far this year. So, I mean, hey, I know it's, it's small as Sherlock Holmes. It's not, like, as big as, like, oh, man, it's, like, Call of Duty. So good, you know? What that? Hey, I like these little subtle I'm games, coming. man. John, John, I'm falling. Oh, my boy's going to need a life alert. <coughs> but, yeah, man, I don't know. It, this, uh, uh, this game is so good, so... Well, I don't know. Dark, Dark Souls 1 is also a close to contenders, Keep too. John, John, Dark Souls 1 is a very close contender. That was a great game. So, which we will be going at least through two more. Uh, and we are and we got another one coming right up, too. We're about to be going through another Souls game very I'm soon. Alright. But yeah, I'm very excited. To go through the pain again so i don't know hopefully maybe like since we've gone through dark souls one it won't be as hard as like our very first time oh how you doing all right by the way are we uh are we gonna actually assume that this is really sherlock I'm not quite sure. I mean, even though Watson's mind seems to be very strong <laughs> compared to Holmes, he's uh hasn't Holmes. gone broken yet. Holmes, come on, wake up! Uh, oh wow! All right, fair enough. Thank heavens! What were you doing? What happened? The world with the stars are so distant. Uh, the sun inverts the earth. It becomes transparent. Sherlock, snap out of it. Nothing is everything. We are so small, inconsequential, a shadow in the dark. I... I think we best go back. You are not well, Sherlock. Uh, no, we are so close. We cannot... You asked that I intervene if I saw you cracking. This is me intervening. With, with every passing minute... Another life is extinguished. We must stop, Rochester. We must end this. Oh, a lot. You almost died. Do not worry about me, John. You have other men to save. All right. I thought that I'd seen horrors during the war, but this. This is complete madness. And you're not completely wrong. <laughs> this is literally mad. Hello. Holmes. How you doing, sir? Sir, are you all right? No response. Uh, my boy actually has a a rag over his head. Okay, fair enough. We're just gonna snatch this if you don't mind. Light Housekeeper Diary, May third, May third, eighteen eighty-two. The builders from Tobar Mihor Mihor. Uh, know nothing that they ought to I had to teach them how to change oil their one proficiency seems to be asking questions about the caves and where my son went missing and I said nothing at first when some sort of Lord arrived and offered me money for a tour I relented and showed them around the man claimed to be a collector of antiquities but what could he have sought it was so it was easy money, but I cannot help but feel as if I betrayed this place and my boy. And my boy! I will go also test this set of keys. You don't need that, would you, my boy? No? Okay, good. If, if one of these are your car keys, you let me know, alright? Alright. mind my trembling hands. It's not fear, it's adrenaline. Uh, I said a laser all of a sudden. <laughs> we in 1882 or what? I know I'm just talking about uh, cars and stuff, but. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Hamana, shamala, hi ha, Captivated by the light of the lens. 
Sherlock, don't touch it. We still don't know what it is capable of. Alright. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Uh, warning to Ash Matt from R. Ash Matt. Uh, you must familiarize yourself with the process of charging the Khalid lenses. Khalid lenses. Energizing them with the beam emitters. The emitters themselves are not complicated to operate. <coughs> to operate. But there are, can be no more mistakes as our day of reckoning draws near. One such error would be to keep that obsidian toy of yours near the lenses. They are strong in most circumstances, but vulnerable when energized and we Ugh. have only a limited supply are are obviously being Rochester Oops. black metallic and with a characteristic hue obsidian yet again the sheer form of it the color it makes me feel it is a very I'm... unique color I've never seen a color like that before this material feels very sturdy. It would take an enormous effort to break like that. Alright. Alright, so obviously we're gonna have to change these lenses here somehow. The base appears to rotate. Hands off, Holmes. We have no idea of its purpose. Hmm. Well, we know that we're gonna have to move it. For sure. By the way, have we? Ha, uh, I just like realized that we never figured out what made Ash Matt uh, kill himself. So that's still uh, still a bit worrying. So okay, can we not move this thing? Because I'm I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do next, but. Hmm. <coughs> Alright, let's go back out here. There's, okay, so we don't have a lot to, uh... We don't have a lot to work with, so... Let's see, do we need to go back here? Shamala, biba, ha ha. Oh, I see. We're supposed to get these fuckers away from the thing so we can move, but... Yeah, this thing's not moving. And I'm using my Batman senses, but like none of it is working. We don't need to mess with anything here. We got everything that we needed. Okay, I'm just I'm just kind of weirded out. Like, okay, so now we can't. Mad cultists, ancient ritual sites. And I know where this case would lead. I would never have brought you to see Stenwick. All right, enough talk. Time for action. Yeah, can we, like, move the fucking lanterns now, please? Like, I don't know if this is starting to be a bug or if I'm really messing something up here. Because I can't do anything here. All right, enough talk. Time for action. Yeah, I'm about to pull out the gun here and start shooting people. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing right now. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Do I need to, uh... Well, first of all... Unstable Sherlock. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, we need to go into the Mayan Palace. Okay. Whoop, wait, whoops. There we go. Alright. So, I see. Obsidian Dagger. I would believe so. Um. How to interrupt the hypnosis from the lens. Strange devices with beams. Um. I guess entrance people? And then. Okay, then the warning to ask Matt. Alright. Energize the lens, then strike it with the obsidian dagger. Kelly lenses can only be destroyed with obsidian. The dagger from the cave should suit perfectly. The one hitch is that the lenses must first be made vulnerable by charging them energized with the beam emitters. Alright. Do we know how to stop the... Perhaps the obsidian dagger... Uh, how to stop the ritual? K 
cave wall. That looks. I'm not quite sure about this one just yet. And beam emitter. Yeah, I'm not quite sure we know how to stop the ritual just yet, but now, since our brain power is working, eh, eh, all right. All right, probably gonna have to tell these assholes to move their big heads. Unless this works. There we go. And then we strike it with the dagger, right? That's it. You did it. The lens broke. John oh God! I just realized their eyes are all the gouged out. See if they're all right. Now these people are going to be really messed up. All right. Enough talk. Time for action. All right. Good luck, everybody else. I'll see you in therapy. Stop there, shipmates. A storm awakens and we <clears throat> bang down the hatches. Dirty summers, I presume. Nice to put a filthy sweat cover. Oh, this is the guy that kidnapped uh come here. Remember the very first or the second case that we That's no that started way to this speak thing? Speak to a captain. Sherlock, get down. Watson, you killed him. I I didn't have a choice. Well, what's done is done. If we do not stop Rochester, Summer's death will be but one... Wait, did I have a choice to shoot him in the hand? I think I had a choice to shoot him in the hand. Oh, well. That was very vague, so I didn't know. All right. All right. Enough talk. Time for action. The sailor who didn't survive the storm. The Port of London feels so long ago. Forgive me, Summers. All right, this is a pretty cool uh, place. I really hope one day when I, if I ever have a basement, uh, I don't open the basement and see this shit, or I will be looking for another house to live in. Hold on, we need a plan. Uh, we need to learn how to stop the ritual, don't we? Looks like we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way since um, I, I may have killed our answer. <laughs> uh, all right, first of all, I gotta go see if my cat wants to be back inside. So, be on beat. 